take home $20 gift certificates for Aroma Espresso Bar. You can all try the new and nutritious Rica Salad that is now available as part of their Savor Summer menu. So enjoy that. And when you get home tonight, you might want to enjoy this. A you grilled might. shrimp and pork burger. Yes, so the concept here, someone said to me backstage, you can't mix those two things together. Do they oh, go together? They do. They, they do go together. together. The favorite thing about pork, it goes with everything. Oh, well, there you go. Yep, so this is inspired by shumai dumplings. Okay. So that's a dim sum classic. It's a, it's actually a classic of Chinese cuisine. Yeah. Pork and shrimp together. And I am, I'm really neither here nor there on shrimp or pork on their own. Yeah. Put them together and get out of my way. I'm going to chow down on that. This is so good. Flavor explosion. Flavor explosion. And so okay. we wanted to do a really fun burger with this. So you essentially take like a wonton or a dim sum dumpling filling. Yeah. Make it into a burger. And we thought, let's go gluten free. Let's go the full Monty with the gluten free served on a rice cake. I just noticed what? that right before the segment. I'm like, oh my gosh, you revolutionary you. I know. I on know. a rice cake and open, open face. Yeah. We tried <laughs> We <laughs> tried it not open face. It didn't quite work. We're like, can we do this? Can we? Can we? <laughs> Huh? No, not we cannot. We, we got messy so that you don't have to. <laughs> so first I'm going to make a really simple Asian slaw. That's a bit of Napa cabbage, which you can buy a Napa for 99 cents. Yeah. That is this big and you will last you for three weeks. Right, for Do sure. A little bit of sugar here and a little bit of white wine vinegar. All right. Um, can't mix that with a whisk. No. Tracy, Let's go in with this. the spoon. So now we're going to make the sh shrimp and pork burger. So it's roughly the same amount, a little bit more pork than shrimp. Right. The shrimp is thawed and minced, like peeled and minced, <laughs> no shells in there right and that's just ground pork <laughs> and if you want to mince the shrimp, you should mince it by hand or you can blitz it sh in short pulses in your food processor because you don't want it to be pasty. No. You just want to be like small chunks. Okay. So. Chopped up. Did you know that soy sauce is not gluten free? No. Oh, yes, I did know oh. that. Well, all right. Then, then, I actually then did know that. today is not a school day for you yeah. because. <laughs> but I remember I was very else. surprised when I learned. I know. So, but if you go with tamari, which has a very similar flavor, yeah. then you are gluten free. And so that's like gluten free for people with celiac, right? People for who sure. cannot have an ounce of. Uh, uh, of gluten. So a little bit of tamari, a little bit of sesame. So you can tell we're going all mm. Asian flavors here. Mm -hmm. A little bit of cornstarch that's going to help us thicken up. Okay. Eh, eh, eh. Get out. Eh, eh. Um, and then I'm going to, how do you feel about crushing these garlic cloves for me? Not really good. Okay, let's let's not put garlic in this. How do you feel about grating this ginger for me? I feel good about that. Okay, great. Let's do that instead. Okay. Great. <laughs> okay, in, so magic right in. ingredient. Right in. Yeah. Okay. I want about a tablespoon. Oh, so God. Just we're going to be going. here for an hour. What I, I see you working out all the time on Instagram. I know, but I'd rather keep it in the gym. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so we want this, we need a little bit of starch in here to thicken the burger up. Right. But again, we're going gluten-free, so you take one of those rice cakes. Remember these? Oh. Yeah, so we got one as the bun. I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to put it in there, but first okay. I'm going to bash it up. That's the fun part. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And see, it doesn't take much in terms of muscles. You can just go to town. Your toddler can do this. I'm not saying you're not strong. I know. I'm not strong. You're very strong. I am not strong. And then that goes right in there. Look at that. It's so fun. So that's going to give it a little bit of heft. A little so bit it's of a heft. Real patty. And it's just going to help it kind of. Um, Stick together. It won't be crunchy anymore once we cook these. Yeah. Um, and and it'll just sort of disappear. But again, it's sticking, getting rid of that, not putting that gluten in. Okay. Right. So now the really annoying part, you mix it all together. You've seen burgers made a thousand times. Right. So you then do all that. We go over here and we're going to go to the plate. So assemble your things. Yeah. We've got our rice cake here. Now the key here is you want to put the slaw on top. Okay. So let's take a beautiful leaf of lettuce. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, so pretty. Gorgeous. I forgot to put the cilantro in here. I noticed that. Everything's I say fine. Anything. Lovely grilled. You can put these, cook these right on the grill. They they really hold together nicely. Okay. Sometimes those gluten-free burgers fall apart. Not ours. Not this one. And then you take this slaw and it, because it sits for about 30 minutes, just while you're making everything else, that's mm -hmm. why you start by making this, it develops this little dressing on the bottom. Nice. Fat-free, FYI. Okay. And you put that on top. You got yeah. crunch. And then whatever juices are left in the bottom, you drizzle over the top. Mm. So it's tangy and a little bit sweet and it's yeah. crunchy. You do have to go with the knife and fork, as earlier mentioned. Yeah. But this, I mean, come on. It's almost not even a burger anymore. It's a fabulous gourmet piece. It is summer gorgeousness is what it is. Nice and light, but that is so filling right there. So cityline.ca for this You're recipe. Gonna love it. Gonna love Done it. with a flourish. Let's mm -hmm. go to break. More coming up. <laughs>